the inner impulse of evolution, which is I'm feeling inside me as an impulse to be more, love more, create more. That impulse of life itself inside every one of us is actually part of the evolutionary story of creation as you. So when I ask, what is the most important thing for me to do? Or is it this or is it that? Then what I do is I really listen. And the impulse gives you a signal. Yes, go that way because you feel deeper, you feel more fulfilled. And I use my journal writing. And I start out with the journal with my mental mind. Here is a question. What, what is the best thing for me to do now? Then I turn off mental mind. I do double quotation marks and I go to deeper mind. What, and I allow my own deeper mind to respond. I write it down because sometimes the deeper mind comes to you very quickly. It's like an intuition or a flash of knowledge. I have found that writing down exactly what that deeper self is saying in response to my mental mind and my more superficial mind, I then follow the guidance of deeper self. Yeah, Barbara, thank you. And uh, so let's, let's then go to the next question here. Um, how do you get in touch with growing, the growing edge of your deepest heart's desire and feel it exciting you to be more creative in all your activities? Well, as I am starting to identify my, my deepest heart's desire, which really is the impulse of evolution inside me, I have discovered that my deepest heart's desire is always at the growing edge of evolution. It's not like something I might have wanted years ago. It's the inner impulse of that impulse of creation itself that wants is activating me to be more, love more, and do more. So I'm very, very um, sensitive to deepest heart's desire. And if I'm able to resonate with others, let's say one or two others that are close to me, and when they help me identify my deepest heart's desire, they're also helping me to know who I truly am. Because in some beautiful way, one, my identity or your identity, our identity, is, is coded in our deepest heart's desire for more love, more life, more consciousness, more spirituality. And the really good thing about this, Steve, is that your deepest heart's desire is actually the desire of evolution itself. And if you want to use spiritual terms, it's the desire of the source of creation inside you itself. And you are sourcing the source of creation when you tune into the direction that source is guiding you in. And, and I have found that I'm never misguided by source. Now, I can be misguided by my own superficial interest to do this or that, and I have lots of interests, and so I've learned the difference between a superficial desire to do this or do that to a deepest heart's desire, which when I access it, it actually has a motivational source inside of it that I begin to know my deepest heart's desire and move in that direction. By moving in, direction, in the direction of my deepest heart's desire, I feel joy instead of confusion. I feel I'm not doing this alone because I'm part of a meaningful universe. I'm part of a universe that's going somewhere from single cell to multi cell to animal to human to us. You cannot miss the fact that evolution has a trajectory. And you can say, who done it? <laughs> you can say, as some scientists have tried to say in the past, 
I think they've given up on this, but they say it, it's an accidental universe. Well, there's a thought. <laughs> the other is it's totally controlled by an overweening God. That's another thought. But there's something way better than either of it's accidental or it's controlled to it's a process of creation that every entity starting for the single cells and all the way on up to us gets inner signals. And what do they get the inner signal to do is to be attracted to that which they need to create and to be attracted to each other. Because what is the truth about the, let's say the quarks attracted to quarks and single cell to single cell and multi cells nature works through attraction by by attracting separate parts to a greater whole so when i find my heart's desire and i start to move toward it i also start to attract those who yearn for what i'm doing <laughs> and that i yearn for what they're doing sort of like you steve <laughs> it actually is a, a mutual heart's desire it ends up that when once you find your own heart's desire, it's easier for you to find others who desire what you also desire from their own heart. And then you get co-creation. So how to open to the dynamic of the universe, helping you expand your own capacity and desire and invite it to collaborate with you in all that you do? Well, once again, it's asking. Ask and it is given. You know that famous phrase from the Bible, ask and it is given. Not that it will be given. Ask and it is given. Knock and doors are opened. Now, that is very, very powerful. Because usually you think if I ask, it will be given. Or maybe someday somebody will be interested in what I want to create. No, it is your awareness and you need to code it in your nervous system. Even if it doesn't look possible at the moment, but if you are capable of asking clearly, it is given and knock means you have to do something about it. You don't just sit, you know, in, in a, um, a sort of silent sadness and <laughs> expect all this to happen. That will not work. You need to understand vocational arousal. <laughs> you can't do this unless you are vocationally aroused by what? By the inner impulse of evolution to be more and love more and create more. So when you ask your deepest heart's desire, because don't forget that's going to be coming as to how to access it. So when I ask my deepest heart's desire for what I truly choose to become, do and love, I am tapping into the strength of the process of evolution. I am tapping into universal creativity in every one of us. I am tapping into the God within. I'm tapping into the enormous genius of evolution to have gone from no thing at all to us having this conversation is also. <laughs> and that genius of evolution doesn't disappear with you <laughs> or me. That genius of evolution is incarnated, incarnate in every single one of us. So ask, and it is given. Then you feel empowered, you feel interested, and you feel, um, you know, well, how is this going to happen? In other words, curious. It's okay to feel curious about it. You may not know. But if you know enough to ask, and if you know it is given when you ask, and that the, the elements that you are asking is the creative universe itself, that wants all 
the participants in evolution to be more, love more, and create more, you got the universe on your side. <laughs> Actually, it's, it's amazingly powerful. Amazingly powerful. 